Hey guys, it's me, Kimo Chitaral, um, back here again. To be honest with you, this is my second time recording. Uh, a bunch of dogs were barking, including mine. Um, as you saw from the, the thumbnail, um, we're here to talk, talk about Kintara, uh, Kintara, uh, Mira. Kintara Mira, sorry. Uh, sorry, making sure. <laughs> um, again, I'm just doing this top of my head here. Um, this is gonna be a little bit different video. Um, I tend, to, for those of you that are, uh, you know, barely joining me, uh, that are not really following me, um, my videos tend to be like, you know, kind of funny or lead towards comedy, and there's a lot of pop in images and stuff. But uh, I just don't think that this is one of those things I want to. Um, and this is my first time kind of talking about my feelings towards uh, someone's passing. I didn't know how to go about it because I let some time pass because of this recording. Um, we're probably like, it's, we're looking at me like um, he passed away like about three days ago as of this recording. And I didn't know how to go about it. Like I literally sat down for a minute and I was supposed to record this last night, like, or early this morning, if you want to be honest. But uh, some stuff came up and uh, I kind of wanted one more chance to think it over before I recorded. Sorry if, uh, if this is coming late. Um, and I think the best way to talk about this, because I I was wondering where to talk to history about the man or my feelings, and um, I feel like I should lean towards my feelings a little bit more, because there's plenty of videos out there that the history of, of, of this artist. Um, so that's just to paint the picture. Um, before I found out um, about Berserk, um, I was really going through a phase of like, I didn't really care for anime. Um, I kind of got tired of it. Uh, I mainly leaned towards, you know, like, an in, like anime films or like, you know, Japanese animated films, uh, like Ninja Scroll, Red Line. I kind of leaned towards Studio Ghibli movies. And once I kind of got back into anime, um, that was kind of due to Attack on Titan when it first premiered. Um, I started looking up like other series that I missed out, and the one series that always got brought up uh, by other YouTubers, uh, specifically one I followed is uh, Bennett Sage. If you guys haven't um, heard of that guy, check him out. You know, I love his videos. Um, was Berserk, and I've always seen images of it, but never really had the urge to watch it. And it's crazy. Like how much time I didn't really watch it. Like the funny thing is, I actually watch reviews uh, from other YouTubers about Berserk, and uh, luckily none of them actually spoiled it for me. Um, and if they did, I it was so long past when I saw the reviews that I don't even remember it um, at the time. And oh, it seemed very interesting, very like slow paced like I remember I was debating whether to watch it because at that point I wasn't really watching older anime like uh Berserk's not that old if you really think about it but it, it's pretty it's getting up there um but one day after time passed I was like I had nothing to watch I was like you know what I, and I think I asked my uh, one of my family members about Berserk and he really liked it um, I believe it was either my cousin Kevin or my or uncle Oscar So I, anyway, I figured, fuck it, um, let's watch it. I got plenty of time now. And it was only like 24 episodes, at, uh, hopefully I'm right, again, thinking on top of my head here. And I sat down and yeah, <laughs> I was blown. It's a little, the original 1997 series is a little slow. Um, I will admit that the pacing is a little slow. Um, but I, I, it's weird. Uh, Guitar Mirror's like, like idea of a, like a dark fantasy is very interesting. Um, like I've seen plenty of fantasy movies, but nothing like his. It's something so fresh and original. Again, I was barely getting back into anime, and at the time, a reason, another reason why I got tired because everything seemed the same. And here's Berserk coming out of nowhere for me, and it was just so refreshing. Like how, uh, again, even though it's an older series, it's pretty brutal. <laughs> very brutal. 
and I thought like I honestly thought before when I started watching I thought the character guts like just your stereotypical you know badass you know um but just Kentaro Miro's writing I didn't believe I was gonna care about it uh, the character guts that much honestly or any of the others I've never had like my emotions turn around like like that it's crazy because the thing about the slow pacing I and I always tell people this I do prefer the 1997 series and the remake films of the series um, I think it came out mid 2000s or late 2000s I believe I'm glad I watched the original series because the pacing just really helped. Like it helped you settle in with the characters, it helped you get into the backgrounds and everything. Soak it all in before it gives you a big punch in the balls um, or your heart. And at that point, um, oh, and just to keep in mind, I'm not gonna, uh, the images I'm gonna have popped here um, or any videos. Um, I'm gonna stay really, uh, they're gonna be like vague images or like, again, very non-spoilery if in case you're interested. Um, check in uh, his work. Anyway, yeah, when it finally got to the eclipse, my God, my I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I, like, like how upsetting it was, how heartbreaking it was. Like after watching it, it literally had me depressed for a little bit. Not for a long time, just a little bit. Like I was sitting there like just thinking like, what the fuck? And again, I was hooked ever since. Like how hooked pretty much I, I was. Like as soon as I finished the original series, I went on to watch the remake films to see how they are. And for those of you that haven't seen the any of them, um, the 90, 1997 series is amazing. It's free on YouTube. They start. Uh, I think some some of the people didn't post all the episodes, but you can find them separately. You just have to type it in, you know, where you left off. Um, I, I immediately watched the remake films, and those and, I'll, and those are actually really good. Um, the first uh, the first movie is a little janky with CGI, but the second one gets good. The last one gets already better. It gets better. And, again, and with go, going into those movies, they added just more. And the thing the thing is. Um, you kind of almost have to watch both um just because both take out and put in they both have their bad and good things well when i say bad i mean like little, literally minuscule and they introduced a character and just added more depth to it and i was just like in love with this world and these characters like it has probably like the best villain in all of anime, manga, whatever you want to call it, or in general. And after that, <laughs> I kind of avoided, I didn't want to read the manga because I didn't look up any information about like, Kintar Miro's, like, like about him or how many volumes he was putting out. I just knew that this series was probably running for a long time just because the, the series came to the US, I think, it says 1997, but I don't know if it exactly came out in that year. Um, I got some mixed information as I was before, you know, coming on the camera. Um, but I lost my point. Kind of lost my thought here. Um, I know. Oh yeah, after finishing the movies and giving some time, like I was spreading the word. I was like almost spreading the gospel of Berserk, guys. I'm not joking. Um, at one point, like, I kind of said screw it, and I watched the Berserk 2017 series and the second season of that. I know it's not, I, I'm not afraid to admit it, I like it, um, all the, e even though it has the, probably the worst animation I've ever seen. Uh, but this, but that's that's the that's the crazy part. That's the strong part and about Kentaro Mira's writing. Because for those of you that don't know, if you, if you ever seen the series, uh, <laughs> Berserk 2017 literally, tries to merge like two volumes into like one single episode like s everything's out of place and uh again this is before i got into the manga i didn't know this and it was 
but his writing is so good guys even even though like the studio that worked on it even though they made it to a jumbled mess it still worked it still was intriguing it was still fascinating the world and everything and how brutal and eyes are following God's guts's journey and everything and again it's just so fascinating like just knowing that a studio that had no business and getting into this type of genre the people that worked on 2017 or the, for those of you that don't know uh berserk 2017 the ones that the studio that worked on it worked on like slice of life anime and they have never really handled cgi i don't know what the heck they were thinking you can look that up for yourself uh some of the info but they had no business they literally jumbled it up and honestly and i'm gonna say this right now uh it deserve berserk deserves more respect than that it deserves a lot more um, but besides that, but my point is, Katara Mira's story is so good, guys, that, like, not even a studio that had, again, no business in getting into this genre, and probably shouldn't have been hired to do the adaptation, it still couldn't ruin the story, at least for my, in my, in my opinion. Um, and his story's so good that, like, I... This is a, I have a, so far I have like, I think five of the deluxe volumes. And for those of you that don't know, this is three. Um, and the artwork guys, um, before I start purchasing these uh, volumes, the, I looked up images on, on the iPhone. Again, trying to avoid spoilers as much as I could, um, but the images, and I'm gonna have them pop up here look at the detail guys just look at it and the, okay here's the funny part again moving from talking about this this series a little bit how i got into it to now um, i'm i'm showing my sister uh, berserk for the first time i'm pretty excited <laughs> um i'm showing the 1997 i'm just a little slow again she seems a little like iffy about it but again it'll hit you when it hit you um I was trying to explain, there's certain parts, again, the, each, uh, the movies or the original series, uh, they, there's some some stuff that they kind of took out or put in. So I had to explain certain things that the 1990, 1997 one didn't cover. But you know what the crazy part is? I then confused a scene from the manga or a page from the manga. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because they are so detailed and I'm having images here that they're like alive like look at this guys and again i don't i did not do any, i hardly did any research in term here i don't mean to you know be rude or anything i just really want to get my feelings out my purest feelings just to know um and like look at that 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 artwork is just gorgeous alone i remember when i first looked at it before i started buying these deluxe editions i was showing it to my buddies at work and they were just all shocked They're like and the thing is like it was just one dude as far as i know i, I know he later i think later he hired uh, some partners or some people to help him but by himself he worked on those images like that's crazy I love the artwork, guys. It is so detailed. I have never, and I, uh, listen, I don't pick up manga. I, I think besides Berserk, I've literally picked up only two other series, which is Made in Abyss and uh, Chainsaw Man. And looking at that image, like trying to see again, I'm not trying to spoil anything here for you guys out there. Okay, but look at this image, for instance. This one you can't really tell the scene is, but look at that. I know it's just an action pose, just like swaying and stuff. But look at this dynamic, like, page here. And this is a deluxe edition. This is big, guys. This is like a Powerade. Look how big this is. It's thick. It's practically a Bible at this point. <laughs> and also, I remember when I started reading, the, when I started reading the first deluxe edition, I was literally like passing around like, read this read this my brothers <laughs> like like again like i was a pastor just like spreading the word like a jehovah's witness and but that but you see how big that page was just covering those scenes um like and look at this this is a regular size manga i can't imagine seeing those 
on a small page like this, on like a small book like this. And again, in comparison, it's as big as a bow. Powerade. I, I know really lame, but and, but that's why I'm saying like Berserk always deserve better it is a grand series guys and um, I know at some point um, well you know I'm gonna save that for later but yeah I can't imagine looking at these images in just a single little manga because I won't lie to you I I am a slow reader I am not gonna sugarcoat it I am even with manga I know that I have some friends I could read it within maybe like, like less than 20 minutes or not even they could zip by these books like nothing again i could be over exaggerating but they could zip by read them fast i'm sure you guys are watching the can but with berserk i almost i take time like almost with each page to get all the images in my head as like first i read it and I, but then i look at the images like those uh, that little action scene i showed you like i'll probably be staring at that for at least like a good maybe like two three minutes after reading it if there's any anything on there or just looking at it and there's some images that are like all grand, you know, when they're in battle. Like if you see a bunch of knights and stuff. Like I look at every nook and cranny just so I can see the details. And I, yeah, I'm just. It is such a, a grand series. Like I honestly, if you had to go out and get, if you want to get read uh, Berserk, the Berserk manga, um, I honestly you can't be. You need to read it like this. Although, um, now I'm at a little pass, um, a little crossroads here. Late, well, as soon as I finish the deluxe editions, I'm a little in the crossroads a little bit. But I'll talk about it in a second. And so, as you, as I'm talking about my story, I'm, as you, as you can see, I'm got a little addicted. I start reading it like almost every other day, on my weekends, half the day. I got so addicted, I literally bought the Blu-ray of the original 1997 series. And look, just even the artwork on the back, again, I'll zoom in or something like that. Look at that, that is awesome. I need to put this in a case. I don't want this really scratched. Um, and this can't, this is, unfortunately it plays, it can only play another region Blu-ray, so I still need to buy like a region free Blu-ray player. But yeah, guys, I, I've literally fallen in love with Berserk, I just love the world and everything. And again, I can't stress enough, I didn't know any information about Katara, Katara Mira. No information. And at some point, as I'm getting into this in the manga, I, I kind of paused for a bit. Um, I kind of got like over, not overwhelmed, but like, How do I put this? I got a little overloaded with Berserk. Like, I kind of took a pause for a good while. Um, I kind of paused about reading the manga. Because at the time, I figured, you know, I'm going to catch up fast. Um, maybe I'll take my time. There'll be more volumes. And, and the ironic thing is, again, um, he died on May 6th. Uh, we didn't know that until, again, three, as of this recording, three days ago. He passed out on May 6. But prior to that, maybe not more than a week ago, I got back into his work. And how I got back into it is, um, I was gonna save this um, for uh, for a future video because I was trying to focus on the Macross special. Again, I apologize about that one. What got me back into reading Berserk and rewatching it again to show my sister was um, buying this figure. This is by Dragon Models. Um, it's an old, it's a, it's a limited edition, um, 12 inch um, Black Swords been, uh, Guts uh, Berserk figure. Um, it's a little older figure. I'll have a video right here. Um, this was like a figure I had to have. Like I. When I was really on the hype of Berserk, I really wanted this figure. Like, to me, Berserk is so big that like, just a little less figure like Figma or this would not do for me. 
I needed a bigger figure for one of my favorite characters. In like anime. Um, and it's a really nice figure. I Again, I'm just showing you video of images of the figure. I don't really want to go into detail about it. I'm saying that for, again, for a different time. But after getting this and getting back into Berserk, um, again, this is no more maybe like a week ago prior, um, maybe a week and a half. Then um, after getting this, I'm like, I, do, I want another Guts figure, but because my plan was, um, um, as you can see from the background here, um, I have like my older figures from when I was a kid and some movie stuff here and my Blu-rays. I'm planning on um, still debating liquidating my collection here and uh, I wanted to get uh, a glass shell from Ikea to have like 12 inch figures in because um, I have a hot, I have a couple of hot toys, I have one coming in soon and I'm going to do a video on that because um, they, and for this, and specifically for this, like one cabinet was going to be for anime figures, 12 inch anime figures and the other was going to be for movies and if I was getting this figure, I was like, you know what I think would be cool is if I, this is an older figure. I think it'd be cool if I get like two other figures from like different companies from over time. So after getting this beauty, um, and it's actually a really cool figure. I know a lot of people, images don't really do it justice. Um, in per, like I remember if you see, were to see the pictures, just still pictures, it looked a little wonky. Um, but in my opinion, it, act, it looks better in person and it actually looks like the earlier images of guts from back in the day. Um, but. After getting this figure, uh, I won't show you images for this one, but I will show you. After this, I got Guts and his Berserker armor figure from 3 Zero. Uh, really gorgeous figure, again, I'm not going to show you. You can look up images for yourself, I'm not going to show you quite yet. It's going to be part of a video. Um, this has got me really excited, guys, opening it up. How big it is, how grand it is when he has the Dragon Slayer and then the armor that I saw from the first time I saw the Berserk armor was in um, Berserk 2017. It's the second season of that, so not exactly 2017, but um, I think it came out 2018 or whatever. Even though janky animation, it was badass to see. Couldn't have been done better with the animation, but it was badass to see. I'm happy to have this in my collection. So this represents another stage in his life. Now, if I was gonna get this, because this, pretty much the Berserk, uh, this figure, the Black Swordsman cover is the middle of his life. This is why I think is like his later life. Um, and after that, I got, I had a, and they took, this one took a minute to get because uh, this came from Russia. This was the best price I could find at the time and at least I had actual images not like still like a lot more images than those fake ones that like just rip it off of eBay or not sorry eBay uh, um, Google um, it, which is the real action heroes Metacom uh, Berserk uh, Band of the Hawk version of Guts 12 inches um, that's a nice magnet window of like it all camera um, it's a really gorgeous figure um, yeah, this is this is covers his earlier part of his life, and I was really getting hyped because um, because I was really excited to talk about these figures, and uh, it just it was just cool having the excitement again of getting into Berserk, like almost like the first time. After I bought this figure, that's when I got it maybe like, like three days ago, prior to the news, um, I was really excited. I was happy I purchased the figures. I, it, unfortunately, I kind of bought these at a bad time. Um, something financial, fin financially it was bad timing, but it was one of those things that like kind of had the jump to buy this figure because it's a little rare. Not rare, but like it's a little expensive. It was the best price I could find talking to the dude. I appreciate, and if you're watching this video um, you, and you're from Russia, you, you, you got rid of a figure, thank you. I, I don't remember your, your name on eBay, but I appreciate it. Um, yeah. So it was, um, 
it was that at that point um, I came home from work it was it was a good day um joking around with my buddies um work got done a little early we got off a little early um had a good good ass dinner I was getting ready to sit down I was planning my my upcoming video um my upcoming video, but also trying to figure out how to do the macro special. When I just turn on my TV and got the news that Kentaro Mira had passed away. And right now, it still, it still shook me a little bit. Because, again, like I told you, I didn't really do any research for Kentaro Mira. Um, I knew the guy, I knew he didn't really do video interviews that much, mainly audio, and I got a little bit of that um, before I shot this. Um, I was shook. I literally went to the edge of my bed, because I was laying down when I got my Reddit on the tab. At first I didn't believe it, I thought, no, this has to be bullshit. It has to be. But because he's the only thing I've known about him is he goes on big, big hiatuses. Like we wouldn't see like another volume for a while. That's why I, I told myself I could take my time reading it. And he and yeah, he was dead. he was gone. He's been dead for a few days. For, for, for yeah, a few days. And this shook me more than anything, it still bugs me. Not bugs me, but like I'm kind of shocked that it did. I started to tear up. I literally cussed at my TV saying, fuck, you, no, no, you fucking kidding me. Like even my mom heard it and they thought something really bad happened. I just told my family it's nothing at the time, at that point, cause it's, it's an author. They, went, they don't know who Kintar Mira is and they didn't know how much the series meant to me. And hearing that, and uh, I posted on Instagram, literally like right after I got the news, I called my buddy and I told him, and he was shocked as well, he was shocked. Um, but I sat down and just saw for a minute, I literally looked at these three figures, and I thought, looking at my volumes of Berserk, And it's almost like it was gone. And I, I, again, I don't mean to be a dick or anything when saying this. And it, it's natural, I think, for people to think this. I was like, no, no, I. This has to end. This series has to end. This we need to see guts do go through his journey and end it. The worst part is. This man, this man I did not know, I never met him, I never went and saw him at a convention, I don't even think he went to conventions, I was gone, and I teared up. And at that point, I literally, the whole day I was depressed, even the next day, when I went to work, like even my boss said, like, well, are you alright? Are you, you alright, man? <laughs> And I wasn't sure calling people. I told them like why I was depressed. And it, the whole time I was just thinking like, what the hell? Cause I've never, um, I had to specify this later on my Instagram. Like I've never cried or teared up for someone I didn't know. Like I, I and I have to stress this. I was really sad when you know, Stan Lee passed away, when Chadwick Boseman passed away, when Katie Fisher passed away, and other you know art, artists and stuff, or other actors and stuff. But I have never cried for someone. I, I at least with those I kind of knew about. I knew those actors from movies, or I knew who Stanley was. I knew who Princess Leia was. Uh, Katie Fisher, I'm sorry. Um, I knew where they were. I grew up watching Katie Fisher. To me, it was just sad seeing this man's work come to an end. 
it looks sad. See, like almost everything like dusted, almost like in like those the, the, like the Vidra's video. Like I was never gonna get the chance to see the journey come to an end. This man, this really talented man, the storyteller, this man that literally had me cheering, had me on the edge of my seat and lit and broke my heart. Gone. Like that. And it, again, hit me because, again, I'm literally was just sitting in my room, really excited getting back into Berserk, having these collectibles with me, getting really excited to, again, like, get rid of my collection here to present it as it deserves. You know, display as it deserves. And it's gone. The crazy part is, I, Berserk, a lot of people would tell you is really popular. It is, and I don't want to come out like a dick, but I would say it's more of a giant cult manga. Because, um, not a lot of people know how much Berserk has influenced a lot of things. Um, it, for God's sakes, it influenced the design of Cloud in Final Fantasy VII. It influenced the Dark Souls series, just for, again, examples, and other types of media. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the creator of, uh, and again, don't confirm me here, I wouldn't be surprised if the creator of um, Game of Thrones got at least some inspiration or at least have heard of Berserk. I wouldn't be surprised. And if I remember correctly, Berserk came out before Game of Thrones, the books, I believe. Don't quote me on that, probably wrong, but I think it did get published earlier before Game of Thrones. Um, probably wrong, but again, just, it's been a while since I looked up. I think it, it has influenced a lot, but again, it's not as big as my hero, like Attack on Time, my hero academia, even though probably Attack on Time had some inspiration from this one. And this comes to my, another part of my story. Um, the next second day, again before I went to work, I wonder, the, I wonder this big cult hit. Like some people were talking about it, but it's like almost what I'm doing. But I didn't see any like big YouTubers talking about it. Ones I cover anime, and still I haven't seen the ones that I I watched, they didn't really cover us. I'm almost sure because I was a little disappointed in them. Um, however, what I didn't expect was a big, a bunch of videos came out the, ne the next day on uh, one of the Final Fantasy games that was online. They all did a tribute for Mira. They all had their characters in the game do the Iconic uh, berserk pose with a sword on his back, on his shoulders, uh, from the campfire, all in a line, playing Guts' theme. Like, yeah, I was just laying uh, kind of gamer at work and it, it, it hit me. Like, the fans are out there. Because when, when I used to talk about Berserk, not a lot of people have heard about it. I was like, how have you guys not heard about this? And stuff. And it was just surprising seeing so many people pay tribute to Kitaro. Um, and I started tearing up all that. What really hit me though is someone. Don't remember the name. And you can see there's a bunch of videos now, so I can't really find it. Um, someone did a video for Guitar Hero showing like pieces of the original 1997 series and the Berserk films and other uh, like, I think images of the manga or all that, I think other stuff. And they were playing Guts' theme, and right there, right there, that's where I teared up. Like, bad. It was too soon for him to go. 
I wish people out there knew how much he influenced, you know, everything in media. Like, I know people love Game of Thrones, but honestly, Berserk makes Game of Thrones look like a bitch. But yeah, Berserk, again, for someone that, for the creator that I don't even know, I never researched about, his storytelling has touched me and a lot of people. Um, I heard some stories from people like saying it came at the right time in their life. Like, I don't have anything, I, I don't really have anything to present say it came into my life, but it was just so, his story time was so refreshing, so detailed. His artwork is gorgeous, like it almost comes alive. And like I said, it doesn't deserve a tiny manga. It deserves it. It deserves a giant Bible sized to show you his artwork. And oh, and I before I forget, and the reason why I want to take my time was so I could keep picking up these collections because I don't, I can't imagine myself looking at you know, looking at Berserk in a small a small format. Now I have to come to realization at some point because there's I know there's rumors out there that someone will you know, some of his teammates will continue the story. But I'm gonna lie to you. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a spoil. I'm not gonna, again. I'm not gonna spoil anything here. Um, uh, some other guy was reporting saying that like. He, he's got caught up with Berserk and he said like for the most part some stuff is answered I'll leave that at that and That's what I heard. Yeah, I didn't really get a big spoiler, but it gave you the answers at least And he said it, it's it, it, if they wanted to stop they could Which it does make me a little happy because I'm gonna be quite honest with you Even if they could copy Kintaro Mira's artwork They can like there's there's <laughs> stuff out there of people copying the Mona Lisa, they could copy like, you know, paint by paint, brush by brush, stroke by stroke. But I don't think they could copy his writing, in my opinion. I don't know if they could move me like he, this author has. Um, that's my worrisome. So in my opinion, if they have the answer, if they give us most of the answers, and they want to leave it alone. In my opinion, I'd be okay with it. it, it again, I, I'd be sad just because eventually I will be done with it. And I understand that. And for those of you, there's not a lot of volumes. Um, I think currently, if I last time I checked, there's like 40, maybe a little bit more than that. There's like 40 volumes of Berserk. That's not a lot from when it first published. Not a lot. He goes on big hiatuses, guys. I'm not, I'm not sure going in. And so I am going to catch up eventually. And it will be sad that I'm not going to be able to see this to the end. But I think that will be He has left a legacy that people should hear about. Um, but one more thing, and uh, I just want to cover this. I, don't, I, I didn't want to talk about this, but I'm just going to. For those of you out there, um, you don't see it. Um, the One Piece community, and I'm gonna stress this. I like, I love One Piece. I really like it. It's my filler anime. Stuff, something I watch in between other ones, but I like One Piece. The One Piece fan community are making jokes, or some people are making jokes, saying that like, oh look, at least our creator will finish his work. Really? You guys out there saying it again? I know it's not the whole community that loves One Piece. They're the fandom. But you guys can go fuck yourself. Don't get me wrong, we're all human. Um, like I said, like I thought of, instead of, th you know, talking about this great author that died, I was wor worried. The first thought came to my head. Like, that's when I finished his journey. And again, it's natural by that time. People joke around. But honestly, you really just couldn't wait. Again, it's only been like fucking three days. Go fuck yourself. And for those of you dicks out there, I love Attack on Titan, the Attack on Titan fanbase. Just because, again, I, I I haven't read the manga, I've only followed the anime. I'm starting picking up the manga volumes, but I've picked up the anime. Or I, I watch the anime, I barely pick up. I'm barely picking up the volumes. Um, you look like you're not too happy about the ending to Attack on Titan. And 
your thing you said, which is uh, to the creator, you told him it should have been you that died instead of Kentaro. You can go fuck yourself. Losing a life is bad and all right around. Just period. So shut the fuck up. If you don't like the ending, oh well. It was in your book. It's not your book. It's not your vision. It's his vision. You could you're valid to your fucking opinion. But stop sending death threats and stop telling him that it should have been you that died. There's no need for that. And even if the last volume was that bad, I don't know. He gave you a bunch of other volumes that are fantastic. Right? So shut the fuck up. And with that being said, because um, I don't I don't know how long I've been talking. And again, I wasn't really trying to cut anything. All I want to say is um, my condolences to Kentaro's family. And I'm sorry. Uh, I really wish you did die. You, you were such a great artist. Like, to be honest with you, another thought that came to my head is all like, okay, when he finished Berserk, I would love to see what he would want to do next. Like, I would want to see it. Even if it wasn't a long, like, manga series. Just, I want to see something just stand alone. I would love to see him do something. Because I... Re, uh, doing, watching, uh, listening to some of his audio interviews, one at least one of them, he was talking about, like, he... I didn't know he worked on uh, Hajime no Ibo. It's a boxing manga. Didn't know he worked on that for a period of time. I didn't know he liked the director Sam Raimi and Tim Burton um, movies. I didn't know that. It was kind of funny hearing him also talk sh like he loves Star Wars and it was funny to hear hearing him talk shit about <laughs> George Lucas saying that like he needed to work on the prequels a little bit longer because <laughs> they're weak and he talked about James Cameron saying that he lost his touch. It was just really fascinating uh, hearing him. He sounded like a, a really great guy and my only thing is I wish even I get like again I appreciate he needed his private life. You know what I mean? I understand. But I wish there was video interviews with this guy, honestly. If there are out there, please, someone leave me a link. I would love to watch it. He would have been an interesting guy. If he went to conventions, I don't know if he has. It would have been interesting to meet him. And if I did, I would have said, you know, thank you. Thank you for showing me this world. Thank you for letting me go on this journey. I know it sounds corny, but thank you for letting me be a part of you know, reading this. And fuck. <laughs> and I was gonna say something, but I don't really, for those of you that want to watch it or read it, I don't want to want to say anything. Uh, any spoilers? I just want to say, you know, thank you, Kentaro, for bring, bringing us, you know, making us feel, you know, joy, happiness, anger, hate. Um, I know it's kind of hard saying this because he passed away, but um, the world will miss you, your fans will miss you, and hopefully, a lot more people will. Read, uh, read the manga, read your work, admire your artwork, and uh, yeah, we'll miss you, Kotaro Mira. Thank you. And I think the best way, I think another way to appreciate you is um, how about we play? Hopefully, I'll get flagged. Uh, I don't think anyone else has gotten flagged, but how about we play a little bit of uh, Guts of Steam? It's, it's Guts of Steam. While some images. um that has been well thanks for watching my video hopefully you stuck around this long hearing my opinion again um, i'm really gonna miss him honestly for someone i didn't know but let me know in the comments below 
Um, have you read Berserk? Have you watched the anime? Are you interested in what, reading this manga? Are you interested to the, you know, looking up about the looking up about the artist? Uh, again, my condolences to his family, and we'll miss you, Kintaro Mira, and thank you. You guys have a good.